Hello everybody, it is great to see everybody back for another video. Today, we are gonna be talking about lenses for smartphones, in particular a company, Sandmark, which I'm very fond of. Now, the previous intro that you just saw, uh, I filmed pretty much that entire intro, minus a couple shots where my phone and this lens were in the actual shot. Other than that, like 98% of the shots in that little intro clip were all done with my iPhone 10 with this Sandmark wide angle lens. You know, today with cell phones as good as they are, and I've talked about this before in previous videos when I've done gimbal reviews for smartphones and stuff, a lot of times if you're out and about, you're not gonna wanna carry a big camera with you. Your phone, you always have on you, and with as good as the cameras are getting on phones today with them filming in 4K and 120 frames a second, and they're really getting better and better all the time, they're really an excellent way to get some really, really good photos and really good footage on the fly when you don't wanna carry your big camera around. So with that being said, today we're gonna to talk about how to step that video game up even more with these lenses from Sandmark. <laughs> Super impressed with these lenses, and I hate to admit, this video is long overdue. Sandmark sent me this lens to check out months ago, and I meant to do this video a long time, but I've been playing around with it, having a good time with it, and I'm just now getting around to making the video, unfortunately. But not for lack of loving this thing, because I really, really do like this lens. You go on Sandmark's website, check it out. They carry a lot more than just this lens. They have a whole assortment of lenses for uh, smartphones. They have different cases for your different manufacturers of smartphones. They have this, which is the one I have tested out, which is a wide angle lens. They also have a telephoto lens. They have a fisheye lens. I think they might have a macro lens too. They sell ND filters that screw onto these now. They also carry a whole line of drone accessories and whatnot, and they have really high quality gear. None of this stuff is like cheap, you know, $15, $20 Amazon. This is all high quality. I mean, this is all metal, nice heavy glass. I mean, this reminds me just looking at it like a lens you would buy for a DSLR or something. Really, really high quality stuff. To get into what you get with this particular kit, this kit I have is the wide angle kit and it came with the wide angle kit, a thin streamlined case with metal uh, threads, metal lens allows you to screw the lens onto the phone like such, uh, which is my preferred method. But they also give you a clip, so if you don't wanna put the full case on your phone, or for quick access, you can just snap that on real quick and get a photo, take it on and off. I prefer the case. This lens does have some weight to it, it's really nice. This is a nice secure way to mount it, but for quick access, or if you have a favorite case you like, you can definitely, it's nice that they include both options. You also get, a lens cap for the front and back of the lens to keep it safe during transportation. You also get a lens cleaning cloth. You get a bag to hold all your little whatnots and bits in. Fail on my part, I have a pouch that I keep all this stuff in and I've lost the bag that it came with, so yeah, fail. So they really do include everything you need to really start getting some dope footage with your smartphone. So just to go over some of the details on this thing, it is a full aluminum body on this lens. So the threads are all metal, so you don't have to worry about those things being plastic and stripping out or being cheap. It is a premium multi-coated glass lens. The wide angle one they sell, the one that I have here, is a 16 millimeter lens. So what that is is a 0.56 magnification of your normal lens on your iPhone. So what that means is you're gonna get a much wider field of view. It's about two times your field of view. So what you're gonna be able to do with that is get a lot more stuff in the frame, which is really nice if you're you know, looking at a big building, you're looking at a landscape. Also, if you're in a small room where you can't get very far away from something or you're in a small space, it's gonna allow you to get what you need in the shot because sometimes the standard lens is just a little too zoomed in on a smartphone. Even though it's a 16 millimeter lens, it does a really good job of not bowing the image too much. You're not gonna get this crazy bow like you get with like a GoPro or some of these super wide angle lenses. It keeps pretty true to form, which is nice. But it really does give you the option to get some very cinematic footage that you can't normally get with a smartphone, which is really nice. It also allows you to get good landscape photos and stuff that you would normally not be able to fit in frame, which is also really, really cool. This 
thing weighs 71 grams, so not crazy heavy. Uh, you know, light enough for it to be portable and you know take with you and not be cumbersome, but substantial. Like I said, for the size of this thing, with as little as it is, you can tell when you hold it that it's high quality. Another cool feature of the clip, if you're a selfie person, busting out those Instagram shots with uh, you and all your peeps on Instagram. You can use it not only for quick access to take on and off of the back facing camera, but you can use it to snap on the front facing camera, which I normally don't use because it's not as good a quality. I try to avoid this camera when possible, but if you're wanting to knock out those selfies, you're out with all your girlfriends or your guy friends, or you're wanting to get a bunch of people in the shot in the frame at the club when you guys are getting your your drank on. Let's be honest, I, my clubbing days are well past, but anyway, not everybody's are. And if you're trying to get those Instagram bangers at the club, there you go. And then you can fit like twice the people in there. I mean, look at this. I mean, you can even see my mic in this shot. Look how much wider that is. Check it out. Huh? This is with the lens, without it. Look at that. Really close. Put it back on. Oh, boom. I mean, that is substantially wider, substantially wider. I mean, you could get some, even if you go Instagram mode, check that out. I mean, you could fit a lot of people in the shot like this. Here we go, one more time. Here you go. All your girlfriends and everybody's in the shot. Or if you're wanting to get a shot of some awesome mountains behind you without it, can't see a lot of those mountains. Very limited mountainage. Lens on, boom. You're getting likes. Just you're getting those likes left and right. You're feeling good about yourself because you got 10,000 likes last Instagram photo you posted. Life is good. But anyway, it is, it is very versatile. Uh, and with the clip and the lens like this, you could stick it in a little pouch, you can have it in your pocket, carry your phone with you, and just clip it on real quick if you're wanting to film some footage. Really convenient and nice to have around. It's just gonna allow you a lot more flexibility so you're not stuck with, you know, most cameras today do have a zoom lens, like most of the iPhones and some of the Samsungs and whatnot have a zoom lens, but not a lot of them have a wide enough wide angle lens. 16 millimeters is super, super wide. You're gonna be able to fit a lot into the shot, so really nice. If we're getting into price, I think Sandmark falls into a pretty good spot. They're not quite as expensive as the Moment lenses, but they're definitely more expensive than like the cheapies, like I said, on Amazon. But that's because those things are kind of hunks of crap, let's be honest. This is high quality stuff. Now I wrote some of the prices down just just for comparison's sake. So you can get a kit with the macro lens, the wide angle lens, and the fisheye lens with the bags, the lens covers, and the case that comes, to, you know, they sell it for multiple models of phones for 189 bucks. I mean, that's a good deal. 189 bucks for three lenses, a case that houses the lenses, the clip. I mean, you can't beat that. I think that's a really reasonable price. You can get a single lens kit with the bag and the case and whatnot for 89 bucks. And now they have, which they didn't have when they sent me the lens, but I'm gonna reach out to them and see if they'll send me one. Now, and you can tell there's threads on the inside of this lens, just like a proper lens for like a DSLR. Now they have ND filters that thread onto these lenses. If you're really looking to get cinematic footage with your cell phone, or if you're looking to maybe do some time-lapse stuff where you're getting motion blur, you gotta keep your shutter right. Well, when it's bright outside, your shutter can be get thrown off. So instead of being slave to the, the brightness and having to crank your shutter way up and then all your footage is jittery or you, you can't do motion blur on time lapses or any shots or anything because your shutter's you know crazy cranked up to try to keep the exposure down, put your ND filters on there and you can get everything and it makes it a lot more cinematic and much more like you would with a, a normal camera. They sell these kits with the ND filters now for 69 bucks and it comes with a ND4, ND8, ND16. So it comes with three ND filters, a clip that fits the ND filters, but most of the lenses have the, like I said, the threaded thing where the ND filters can thread right onto the lens, which is super dope, let's be honest. Like I said, they didn't have that when they sent this to me, but. I'm gonna reach out and see if they'll send me one and if they won't, I'm gonna purchase one because I think that's really awesome. Overall, do I have any negatives? Um, you know, most of the time I can squeeze something out about a negative on this, but with this, I, 
I really couldn't find any. I don't want you to think I'm being biased here. They did send me this free of charge, but they are not paying me anything for this video. This is completely my opinions. And if I thought there was something bad about this lens, I would absolutely say it. But in my use, it's functioned perfectly. It's made of really good high quality materials. It allows you to get some really cool perspectives and shots you wouldn't normally be able to get. And it's versatile because it comes with the case and the clip. I mean, overall, I, I can't fault it. I couldn't find anything that I really didn't like about it. Uh, I can't say anything bad. I really have enjoyed playing with this thing. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to get some more of their lenses and try out their telephotos and maybe their macros, and I definitely wanna get some of those ND filters. Also, uh, like I said, check out their website because they do carry a lot of other like drone accessories and whatnot, so they do have a lot of stuff other than just these iPhone lenses. But if you're looking to step up your photo slash videography game on your smartphone, check these lenses out. I think they really, really will add that extra little thing to the videos you're making. Cell phones are pretty amazing these days. I mean, I used to have a little Canon point and shoot that I would carry around with me to do photos when I didn't feel like carrying my big DSLR. And nowadays, all I do is make sure I have my cell phone on me, throw this little dude in my pocket, and you've got a little mobile filming slash photography setup that comes right along with you and takes up literally no room. You're good to go. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, that whole intro I filmed was filmed completely with a smartphone. So the possibilities are only limited by your imagination and creativity. So get out there and create something. All right, guys, so that's it for me today. I just wanted to have a quick conversation with you about these Sandmark lenses and smartphone photography, videography, and all the cool stuff you can do with these things. Uh, as always, I will put some links down in the description below if you're interested in finding out more about these guys or where you can get them. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give give us a thumbs up. That always helps us out. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below and I will try to get something back to you. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. What are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button. Just click it. It feels good. Just try it. Just click it. And while you're at it, click the notification thing. Why not? That way you can be on the notification squad. You'll know every time I upload a video right away. Quickity, quickity, lickety split. Okay, so that's it for me. I hope everybody has a great week and we will see you in the next video.